sat in for a uh, dude named Doug Banks in Chicago one day. Okay. I was up there promoting a concert at the State Theater in 94. And uh, I was supposed to just be a guest. I got there early. He got sick. They said, well, go on in and, and announce your show. And I started announcing the show. Then I told a couple jokes. And then uh, the phone rang. I took a phone call. Me and the caller had some banter. Went to commercial break. General manager of the station came in and said, hey, have you done radio before? I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the time. Never done <laughs> before. He said, uh, could you sit in for an hour maybe? I said, yeah, I sit in. So a lady told me what to say when we come on break. I did it. Then he came in there the next hour. He said, you want to sit in the rest of the morning? Wow. I said, yeah, sit in the rest of the morning. Went, sold the concert out. Next day he called me and said, you ever thought about doing radio? I said, no. And then uh, he talked to me. I said, how much does it pay? And uh, he told me. And then I said, no, nah, I don't want to do radio, man. It's not, I make a lot of money out here. He said, well, how much would you have to make? And I told him, and he said, well, we can't do that. And I said, cool. So I left. I get on the elevator. The secretary comes and asks me to come back upstairs. I go back upstairs. He said, my boss said they'll pay you that much money. Wow. I said, cool. I'll do radio tomorrow. <laughs> that was my first radio gig. Uh, WGCI yes, in yes. Chicago. Yeah. And that was 107.5 WGCI. That was my first radio gig. Did that in 94. And then I got a phone call and said, um, we got a TV show we want to do. We've got an idea about making you a music teacher on the Steve Harvey show. And they had picked a, uh, my co-host was supposed to be George Wynn, who played the mailman. Uh, not the mailman, but the fat guy that sat at the end of the bar on Cheers. Norman. Yeah, Norman was supposed to be my roommate. And I said, I don't really know him. I said, I got a friend of mine, this dude I know, named Cedric the Entertainer. You should, you should call him. They said, that was before the Kings of Comedy. They said, we've never heard of him. I said, man, this is the funniest dude I know. I said, and we friends. I said, it would make better sense if we were roommates. And so he said, no, we've already picked this guy. I said, look, man. I ain't gonna have a good time doing that. I'm gonna just keep telling my jokes and doing the radio. So they brought Cedric out there. He read. They liked him. They put the show on. We was on TV for eight years, man. Yeah. So